Only one kid in history had ever attempted what Benny was about to. And he got eaten. So we were worried. Real worried. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon. Shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers. Welcome back. It is the Slate Lace Podcast. For the gang, 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 gang. Happy hump day. Uh, before we get started, though, we do have to make a disclaimer. Uh, if you hear any beeping or any you know, uh, outside noise. No, nah, we good. We that good. is our... Oh, you took care of it? Uh, no, nah, I we mean... We have a fire alarm problem or what? The smoke, smoke detector, detector problem yeah. at the Slate Lace Studios. But um, I guess they haven't... Care. Well, so they haven't come to handle it yet, but After I basically... After a couple phone calls, we got some beef with uh, management here. We definitely do. We had it since day one, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, my garage still don't work, you know. But yeah, anyways, man. it's neither here nor there. Uh, so I have it all the way in the back. And I got it like really wrapped up in a few blankets, so you really shouldn't hear anything. Eric was point. here if when I set it off, though. Head. He was here yeah. when I set it off, remember? We took it out the wall, and we then it started. We took it out the wall. We definitely took it out the wall. And then it we started thought, beeping. We thought that. We like know, triggered the back button, and then it like. Then it really went on. It went off like it was a fire in here. So but he bad. never heard it at any point. You was yeah, like, you I woke that? up at 145, <laughs> and I was just like. You know, Y'all don't hear that? And dead silence. I'm like, oh, they knocked out. <laughs> but poverty. I couldn't sleep. A little yeah. poverty, you know, that's, you know, I'm used to that, you know. Yeah, Eric's saying? like, no, I'm, I'm used to that noise. I'm like, I cannot sleep like that. You know that. what I'm saying? Just a little beep. beep, beep. <laughs> no, nah, it was bad. So I was up, like, all day, all, all night that, that morning. She was, she uh, was yeah. mad. She's going off in the group chat. I was like, y'all don't hear this? And then she's like, beep. She came beep. down with a flashlight. <laughs> yeah, and then I came downstairs. I'm like, I think it was two of them. But it ended up, I think it was just mine. Yes, it's yours. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, so that's what it is. But Blair took care of it, so... Good idea mm-hmm. to wrap it in some blankets, I yeah, guess. Yeah, we in business. Uh, also, before we get started, we got some new gadgets. Blair, can you can you, can you you get us on air here? Can you do the honors? Yeah. We got some new uh, trinkets. Look at that. Look how official we are. Ding, now. ding, ding. And now it even says slate lace engraved on there. But we got a couple extra things that we're getting brought to set here. We got... Y'all. Y'all wanted the... Well, we'll show them this last, but... Who said y'all? What they want? Look, we got some more decorative items coming. Kiss through. my ears. Uh, just and know that's everywhere. And if y'all been everywhere. to the Slate Lace Studio, y'all know that we have this rug, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the we floor. got the matching. We got, we're all matched up. Uh, yeah. So this will be yeah. hung up. Like we said, season two's coming. Big yeah. change is coming. Yeah. Uh, we New wanted furniture. Start, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we you know wanted to start saying? making mm-hmm. that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We got some stuff. I mean, I got my director chair, too. We got the chair. We got everything. We're pretty official. Yeah. We want to give it... Uh, hooked up we're gonna have to figure out like measurements and stuff like that but we'll figure that out but mm-hmm. it's gonna be hooked up best believe it's a tight spot yeah it's gonna be nice uh another thing we got blair you want to flip that around oh man no let me do the honor do the honors, do the honors on that one, and, and give saying. it a, give it a give it a good clap give it a good clap. <laughs> mm-hmm. you see that yeah we got the visual slate now so i don't mm-hmm. have to be doing this no more i could do yeah. it for real yeah it happens just it looks like that. good it's yeah. slate laced yeah we're official yeah. yeah, and then we can even like do the dry erase and write on there and everything. So it's gonna be exciting. Like we said, season two, we come. All that stuff is happening. Uh, yeah, dang, you know we got the dates. We got a what we got here. Vintage as Rose a director. Scene, shot, Let them know. You know Let what I'm saying? Know. We on. Um, and then we can put Let the little know. dates of the episodes. So it's gonna be exciting. It's exciting stuff. Go and put that one more clap. One more clap. <laughs> one more for the row. One more for the row. But we gonna use. How about here. just the road? Yeah, <laughs> I was just watching that. Shout out! They put that so even back on uh, they did? Hulu. Yeah, I've been binging. Oh it. man. Ooh. Yeah, I just saw that episode too. Shout out to you guys for watching all the Tubi movies too. Uh, Tubi is lit. <laughs> hey. Tubi is lit. Hey. Tubi is lit. Look, two. I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. You know what I mean? Shouts out to them Tubi actors. I be Tubi and Watch Free and Pluto. I be all those. Now all the streams. Now you know you either get a hit. Or you get a super miss. Yeah. There's no, there's no in between. <laughs> no, the there's not. There really isn't. But I'm gonna tell you this right now, Tubi. Y'all need to holler at us. You know what I mean? We got two movies in the works mm-hmm. right now. You that know are better mean? than most of the Tubi movies. That are better than most. So if y'all can put yeah. them up there, you definitely can come and holler at us. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Them A list, B list, C list actors. <laughs> we we no, here. They, they we be going actors. up. They the fun, the funniest thing is when he's telling me about the um. 
the detective one, and he's like, man, I'm watching the movie, and they show up to the kid's college or whatever, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Show up to the college. Mm Mm-hmm. Two detectives. There's yeah. no homicide scene. No homicide yeah. on the scene at all. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just walked right through the yellow tape. Looked at the dead body. Came back out. Then went to the locker and then just grabbed what what he did to to drug himself. Then here come kids just running on the scene talking about <laughs> something. What happened? What happened? What happened? Like. And but they, usually on those crime scenes, crime scene shows, like they have a detective or a real person, like a real. Uh, whatever the coroner mm-hmm. to yeah. like give advice on how it's really done. You think Tubi got that kind of budget? No, nah, but the real but, deals on, on the site. Yeah, but basically, so like saying, it's a science yeah. movie, they'll have like a real scientist like on set yeah. saying, "Hey, we wouldn't do this." Like Tubi yeah. got that budget, but <laughs> they I mean, gotta, they gotta but, go okay. off top. But also, if you've watched enough movies, you know that you if they're if they're if they're if they're showing up, right? Everyone already is supposed to be there. I get it that there's times where you might show up after the fact, like days later, to get a little yeah. bit more. But the body shouldn't be present when you show up days later, and then there should be <laughs> no days. reason. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying. Because sometimes you know how sometimes they revisit the yeah. scene to see if they missed anything. But I'm saying that bo- the body should not still be sitting there from yeah. days later. Get After the, the coroners have done everything, right? Yeah, yeah he, he should have be been. Bag, he yeah. should have been hauled away almost immediately. And then, and then, what makes it even more weird, and I haven't even seen it, is the fact that then the kids come running down and they're freaking out, and it's just like, well, if the body, if if it's already been taped off as a crime scene, right? Like, how are we even giving? Them yeah, exactly. Yeah, that means it's already been done. It's already been figured out. So it's this is funny mystery, though. Y'all. And then the fact that he like didn't even have to really analyze nothing. He just immediately opens up the one locker out of all of the lockers and was like, and this must be it. Oh wow. This is pretty old D though. <laughs> it's what? like wow. What? Excellent they had to hurry observation. Up to get to the, uh, they yeah. was running out of film. Man. They had to hurry up and yeah. get to the point. But anyways, guys, we're gonna transition here. Uh-oh. Perfect second. We're getting into this is a movie episode, as you can see, talking to me at the top. But we're going to get into a movie that we saw not, what, a day ago? Two days yeah, ago? the other day. We're getting into Equalizer 3, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to hear some of your initial thoughts. Were we excited? Have we seen 1 and 2? Eric, have you seen 1 and 2? Yes, we have. You have? We have. Okay, because I thought you was going in just just No, 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 not dry. Okay. We ain't yeah. going in dry. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm in there. I'm, I'm Blair, in there like you have? John Wicks. I think I saw 1, but not 2. Skipping around. Skipping around, huh? Mm, I mean, I guess. I saw the... <laughs> what do you get? <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't know the big reveal then, because the big reveal was in two. We won't spoil it, mm. or maybe we will. We can beep it. Oh no, 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 but no yeah. we won't spoil it for me. Yeah. But uh, all I know is, is just that mom and dad stay watching it. Yeah, the show. It is streaming with Queen Latifah. Equalizer show. That's oh, what you meant. Oh, it's a show. You don't even know what you're talking. What are you talking about? The movie. We went and saw Equalizer the movie. Yeah, oh, but there's also a show because I thought you were, that's what you meant when you said they Oh no, they love the movie though. Oh yeah. They they've do. seen it yeah. like they they've seen it multiple the times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's a it's a yeah. direct it's correlation. Like, uh, no, nah, it's but it's uh Queen Latifah, she's the Yeah, I know it. Yeah, she'd be of, whooping yeah. on people and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I see mom and dad kinda watch yeah. that from time to Shouts time. Shouts out too. to the Queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was what you were talking about. And then anyway, were we excited? I was hyped to see it because I like this franchise and I liked one and two. Two was like my favorite, uh, probably still is. Two okay. was good, but this one was good as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, I was happy to see it. You? I mean, for me, I was I, I, I knew I was going to see it. I was just like, all right, the third one's coming out. Let's see what it's about. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like John Wick where you're just like, he's an action hero that everyone loves. He feels mm-hmm. so relatable because he's kind of getting up there in age. Mm-hmm. But he's a man that's kind of based off a of principle, right, where yep. he's just like, I want to protect the petite the protect the people that can't protect themselves you know yep. um from the forces of evil i guess right and so that kind of man is really just admired you know so um yeah i was definitely excited as well i mean the world was excited because i seen you know advertisements everywhere and things like that but i had not seen the trailer which is what i like and mm-hmm. then but yeah, initially. Yeah, I think I hadn't seen the trailer for this one either. Oh, first time, I hadn't, huh? What it was the other movie I saw in theaters before I this? Like a, like, a, like a piece of a trailer. But you it probably saw like, like a little trailer. teaser? It was just like a little teaser, like yeah. somebody like playing around. It was actually old boy that uh be doing the Denzel impressions. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's on Instagram. Yeah, he's funny. Uh, C-King. Yeah, C-King. I don't know if I've ever seen the trailer for this one. Which is interesting, because I usually do see it. But I knew I was going to see the movie regardless, so... 
But let's get into uh, the description here. Robert McCall finds himself at home in southern Italy, but he discovers his friends are under the control of a local crime uh, unit. As events turn deadly, McCall knows what he has to do, become his friend's protector by taking on the mafia. It's starring Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanning, written by Richard Wink and directed by Antoine Fuqua. Uh, Crazy. Yeah, let's get into some of the pros and cons. Crazy the fact that like <laughs> no just you remember watching certain people as a kid and then they grown up too. Yeah, they literally like Dakota Fanning grew up like on the screen for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Exactly. I love uh, their relationship that they have on film. Yeah, because yeah. because you in multiple movies like Eric was saying your little uh, man on man on fire. Crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> man on oh, fire. Man. Mm-hmm. man on fire was good, but I just like how they like have that good relationship on mm-hmm. film. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? You could tell that they literally mm-hmm. bounce off each other, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? They enjoy doing things with each other. So mm-hmm. I like that. That's one thing I do like. So yeah. that's one of your pros? Yeah. Blair, you got some more pros? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, it's definitely um, entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you just you just can't wait to see some people mess up, right? Like, you, you, you watch the movie and it always looks as if it's not going to go that route, right? Because you kind of watch him in his element where he's doing like all these things that are like of peace, like going and drinking tea, you know, just going for a walk, like a nice mm-hmm. little stroll, right? He's just always doing stuff and then stuff's always happening around him and he's just always like, you could tell he's like hesitant. He's like, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved. And then once you make that man get involved, right? Like it's, it's over. over. Yeah. yeah. But um, so it's just funny how it's like it's got that formula, but um, it's extremely entertaining. Yeah. That that that's the the biggest piece. It's just one of those things where you're like constantly locked in, and then uh, the runtime I know is great. Uh, yeah, they got us in and out. Yeah, I mean, if it was long, you couldn't tell. Yeah. You could not tell if it was long. Mm-hmm. Um, that was one of them. Uh, I like the cast. Uh, a lot of people like I don't know if I've necessarily seen them in several movies, but uh, they were really cool. Like the, uh, the uh, the pastor. A lot of international. Um, yeah, they were like they they had they, they did really well, right? Um, I like some of the messages that are kind of within it. Um, I think one of the the biggest ones is in the beginning where he's like, "Are you good or are you are you good or are you bad?" Mm-hmm. And he's like, "I honestly don't know," yeah. you know, and because it's like, you know, uh, any whatever right but one of those messages um you know kind of like resonated with me so so that was like a positive for me as well um the uh um what i like is the lighting in this one it always had like a like a dark it seemed dark Mm -hmm. it It seemed dark even when it was light yeah but see that's my thing you know even when it's daytime it's got to feel like it's night um so yeah that that was that was really cool as well yeah, I mean, like you guys said off top, I like the reunion of Dakota Fanning and mm-hmm. uh, Denzel Washington for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the storyline was simple, mm-hmm. which I'll get to a but little bit. Use, in my but cost. they usually always are, aren't they? Yes. Well, yeah, but they had more characters uh, in the other ones. Yeah, it could. So yeah, this yeah. one was centered on just basically Denzel, but in the past it's been a bunch of other people involved. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so it was simple, but it was action packed, so it made up for it. Right, like right from the beginning, it's intense, right? Mm-hmm. Right when he walks in, we like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. So right away, you already like locked in. And then, yeah, you know, wasn't we, that the, we come oh, to this, yeah. yeah, we come to, no, I'm not saying we come Oh to my, I thought she was getting ready to go there. We come the to this I place. It, I like, oh, <laughs> yeah, but no, we, we come to watch these Equalizer <laughs> trilogy for the fight scenes, right? Mm-hmm. And for him to be this kind of Batman figure, right? Mm-hmm. So the, the fight scenes in this were phenomenal. Uh, you know, him fighting for the, the greater good. And I feel like he executes, like, this whole protecting friends and family a lot mm-hmm. better than, like, say, Ben Diesel and, the you know, the Fast series, Fast right? Because we yeah. crapped on that last mm-hmm. time of, oh, this whole idea of, oh, I got family and I got to protect them. But I think this, the Equalizer trilogy is, like, the way to execute it, right? Mm-hmm. So I feel like, uh, yeah, just the action, the storyline and all that was just great. And, yeah, right away, they hop into it and, and things are getting and I, and I also loved how they gave us Italy. Who? Italy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, loved, they gave us that I nice little uh, literally, backdrop like, for sure. Spoke uh, out Italy. Italy. Italy got those views, too. Yeah, Man. yeah. Those, so high, those high churches. 
Yep. Those hills. Stairs. Mm-hmm. You know Everything. What I mean? All that. I love how they did that. Um, um, the uh, the always, the way he moves, his like religious background also, right? Yeah. Is is that other one, right? That's his 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 outward and inner motivation, right? I think yeah. it's also what people love most about this film. Yeah. Um, is which is why a lot of people actually go in theaters to watch it, yeah. right? Um, but the my, yes, yes, but um, yes, but what I was gonna say is the opening, how you were talking about it, right? Yeah, like I mean, how engaging, seriously, yeah, was the that, opening, though? like it locked you in, it was crazy, yeah. like I mean, you're like, there was you no, think he's done, there was like, no, you think he's yeah. done within minute one of the movie, yeah, and you're like, how are you gonna get out of this? Yeah. And then he's like, this man over here is doing, you know, yeah, and go through this whole spiel. The it's just yeah. like, it, what's cool is because. They only speak when they really need to, right? Yeah, That's really yeah. only when the dialogue takes place in that opening scene. But it's just like, he does so much where you know that he's getting ready to put in work, right? Yep. He's just kind of like folding the towel, just like, you oh, know. He's always proper. With yeah. It. He's it's always it's, neat. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm sitting here because I'm letting you, like, let me sit here, right? So, like, he's just folding it, and they're just thinking, like... He's just in the back. Right? right, right. And then they're just basically like, dude, like, we're getting ready to kill you. And he's just like, no, he's gonna miss. And then, you know, he's not ready, right? And then... He just got, picks you off. He just, boom, 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 boom. Set just that gets time. up. Yep. And I think, like... Don't let him, don't let him reach to that watch. <laughs> yeah. And oh. I think that's the reason why people just keep coming back, like, for those yeah. scenes, you know? Yeah. And that's what makes this movie, these trilogies great. It's just mm-hmm. like these well thought out, well crafted mm-hmm. scenes and, and you give us a hero that we can all get behind. And yep. I think Denzel mm-hmm. Washington as the equalizer is like a hero that we all is like, yep, go, go handle business, go take yeah. him out. I mean, a, a key thing to think about too is like you wonder, right? Is like, can someone else play equalizer? It's tough, it's tough to picture because he's just, he's just so good at what yeah. he does. Even though he was getting that, older in this one. Yeah, but I mean that that's also part yeah. of the the growth yeah. within the film, yeah. right? If it was if there's it a, makes it more believable. Right. Yeah. Cuz you're like wow. here go like he in the he's not running. Kid, yeah. Like would he have made that mistake like years ago, you know what I'm saying? Well, but then you? it's your but it's also your confliction, right? Your it's like who you yeah. are, right? So you're just like, do I really want to kill this kid? Yeah. We Eric. already know what mom and dad and Eric is saying, right? Because cause you can't take no chances. Kid would have had to go. Kid yeah, you can't, murk. <laughs> you can't take no chances. And then now you get, you know. But yeah, yeah, just to see that, I was looking like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. obviously I knew, but still, yeah. it was crazy to see. Kid would have yeah. got murked, man. Yeah. And, then, and then I like how, like, even I thought about something yeah. in the middle of the film, and then I'm, I'm really whispering over here to Blair, like, mm-hmm. man, I would make him. Mm-hmm. And then boom, like, yeah, you yeah, did you have sure a, a did. predict, sure did. A predict like, moment, a light yep. bulb moment. Yep. Yes, yes. Even from that to him walking down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From him. Yeah, just, Eric was like, yeah, I would have, oh man, it's I, like, you're like, I would have made him take the pills or yeah, something. That's yeah, what you said. Yeah, I was like, I would have definitely made him OD. Yeah, and you and was like, yep. Bro, just, just OD. I yeah. OD that to him singing the, the, the hymn. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Like, what? And like, then, even though I commented that it was a simple storyline, like, without you seeing two, you didn't get the connection with Dakota Fanning. But they did try well, to make I mean, it. Well, I mean, I know bit, there's the mother. Yeah, they did try mm-hmm. to make it a little bit more intricate. So I like that, yeah. you know, you, you can complain that, like, oh, that was it. Like, it was just like, he came, he fought, so, he left. But, so maybe now what I'm thinking is I saw two and not one. Okay. Because I saw the one with the mom. The okay. mom. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Actually, cool. I mean, I'm actually, now that I think about it, I've seen both of them. Because there's the one with the mom. Yep, and the one and, with the kid. Yeah, the one with the kid when they're in, like, Massachusetts or something, yeah, right? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, all right, well, good. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, exactly. So, like, there were those little things that made it a little I bit more intricate, which was good. Yeah. Uh, well, before, <laughs> we <get> to, <laughs> before we get to... me. Before we get to the cons, like, y'all are uh-huh. singing, is that your favorite scene? And, and walk the people through it. Oh, my favorite scene? Ooh, that's, that's a tough about, one. Hands, right? Okay. My no, that, I don't know if it's... Ooh, the top. I, got a, I yeah. got a couple of them. I ain't even gonna lie, but I got. I, I'll hold my one now. I let y'all do y'all thing. Okay. I'll hold my one. I'll so, go so my 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 favorite might have to be the 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 very opening. Yeah, the opening was crazy. The opening was dope. The opening. Like all the way through though, till he like. Yeah. And then basically it's found. And then, uh, between, when the community comes together to protect him. 
Oh, that was a good one. Because that's a message within itself, right? About just how powerful we all can be if we really do choose to come together, right? Yeah, I don't know how to been getting done. But that's what I'm saying. Because they have been scared for so long. And then when they finally see like one man that's trying to take on everybody. This little Italian mafia was playing zero games. Like, no. They 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 was ruthless. When they did old man, like, and they were like, leave him there. I was like. (laughs) Yeah, like, just leave the man hanging. Like, yeah. what is really going on? Like, um, no bueno, dude. Yeah, yeah. He said, it's out of four. Excuse me, gracias. He said, he said, it's out of four. Yeah. You don't want me to go any higher. Oh, oh, oh had out of like, yeah, yeah, he said, I'm yeah. out of four right yeah. now. I was, was trying to find where that, I was like, what is that? He said, like, you get a five, you're shitting on yourself. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> he say that. He said, you don't want that. that. But I was like, where yeah. is that at? Like, yeah. I want to be able to, like, just just wrap some stuff. Yeah. I just want to be in life like I got it. I'm hanging out a limb. You know? Hey, have someone tripping up in my restaurant. I'm just yeah, like, be like, that's a two. <laughs> you got a head and eye. Yeah. That's a two. You don't want I don't me to go there, do you? Like, what is going on? Uh, I was at a two and he's like, dying. Yeah. Yeah. He's mid He's mid dead. Yeah. That man and that's was a two. Yeah. yeah. That was a good one. The equalizer knows some things. Also, that's a great scene. That's yeah. a great scene. Yeah. Um, but then my second. Uh, or Second, third, now, yeah. third. Well, I'm saying I'm saying it's a toss up, but the other one is when uh, he walked him down. The walk down the was walk crazy. Down, the walk down was tough, and it was a cool at least what three minute scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the so, house so to the was, street to so the cobblestone, was, uh, not the cobblestone. So it was six minutes on the watch, but it yeah. was about probably about three with the actual yeah. layout and how it yeah. went down. Yeah, it was. Crazy. It was. It was a wild scene. Mine was the walk down for sure. Yeah, because I know you commented on that in yeah. theater. Yeah, yeah. That he was like, "Oh, this is so cold." That walk down was cold. He's just yeah. he's just tripping and slipping and falling. Oh, yeah. and just... that that walk down. He's was just cold. checking it. Yeah. The walk down when um when he murked off uh, everybody when we thought because you literally thought that he was about to get him a pass. And it was like, they, yeah, they were, I, well, that's I a good point. Thought that, that was just a warning. The first one, I yeah. didn't know he was gonna go just by. Like, yeah. I didn't know he was gonna just eighty six him like that. That you feel me? That second, Kira I was like, oh, he gonna come. <laughs> that was a warning shot with the pressure point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, nah. <laughs> see you later. Like, outside and yeah, nah, he goes you're right. Away. You're right. And he's just doing this and boom, boom. Yeah, boom, when boom. he had the hand up, he said, smack, smack, smack. What? Like, what? <laughs> and everything is like just clean. <laughs> this dude, this you know what I mean? Like everything. He really came up like what? Well, that, but. That's the that's the Denzel move in any movie though, because he was kind of like that in the book of Eli too. I'm dying. He you really can't. He always comes up. <laughs> he, can't he does that me. though. He, he did. He always acts as if he's. Just he's like, like what? I'm gonna <laughs> and just murdered like. Yeah. And sorry also, guys, this is spoilers. Just so y'all yeah, know. It is massive. Uh, um, <laughs> spoilers ahead. <laughs> I ahead. also like how like um he had to do it leaking. Like they literally left. Them in the alley and the mm-hmm. dude was just sitting there, eyes open. Like, <laughs> but you're right. I can't believe he like ended up killing them like that fast. Yeah, quick. Like you know, he'll usually leave a little sign and then they'll mess up again and he gotta mm-hmm. go get him. He was just yeah. like, no, I'm doing this tonight. Like, yeah. quick. I'm done with the wasting time. But they was just, you know, hating on the the cop man. So um, I'm glad he stepped in. I like that scene that she was talking about when yeah. the community came together. Mm-hmm. That was a great one. I think that's like probably the next standout one for me yeah. because he was like, I did it. I did it. Yeah. I'm the only one. I was like, yeah. are they about to just shoot? And what's funny like, is he like, but everything he does is so calculated, right? Like he doesn't, he just like understands the moments where he's just like. He's like, I know they probably won't kill me here. Not here, right? I was kind of like, like they out. might. Yeah, <laughs> when they was rolling, they yeah. definitely might have murked you right there. Yeah. I thought they I'm would. the one you want. Because when they did it to the, I'm the one you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how you come out with that Denzel voice. Yeah, yeah. It's your training day. Yeah. Uh, what they did, homie, with the arm, the police chief. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was like, they willing to do anything. Oh, and, and thank you for giving us a hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then joking yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, sir. Yeah. So, but I don't know why he was getting so big and bold in that room. I, like well, he I didn't think like he, he was, was like, you guys are barbarians, and y'all. Bar-. I was like, can you stop? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he had to slow down. Yeah. For a minute though, I didn't think he was getting too bold. At first, he was like walking within his means. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then, then he started popping off his mouth. Was like, bro, you tripping. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, they need you, but, uh, you know, yeah. your body parts can go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they sure did. They were playing no games. Yeah, uh, is that a, it for you guys' favorite scenes? Um, yeah. I think we should do the favorite scenes a little bit more, too, by the way. Okay. Because okay. we never add that in. The other one was just, uh, 
him always being so observant and when he's chilling at the uh, cafe. I even like, like the little folding of the napkins, the unfolding yeah, yeah, of the napkins. He's like, yeah, like, why that. he always got to do this? Yeah. <laughs> he got to lick the thumb and just... Mm-hmm. It's like all the time. He's like, all the yeah, all the time. Yeah. But, that, um, but that you know what I feel like that's some real Denzel shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, that that stuff isn't really. It's in probably the not written there, right? Yeah. He's like, I'm just gonna like, make it. He's like, I, yeah, I feel like he really improvises mm-hmm. when it comes to things like that. <laughs> You know he's I mean? like, I, I see you over there. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that was, but that's what I was saying. Yeah, that that was that's the part I do like, yeah. right? She's and, and then like, like I was telling you guys in the theater, I'm like, girl, you yeah. ran into me because I allowed you to run into me. Yeah, thank you. That's the only reason he you was avoiding right the like the cameras when he first got there. Yeah, mm-hmm. remember when he was like second yeah. guessing walking through the tunnel? He hadn't mm-hmm. seen the camera, so mm-hmm. he already knew. That was that was a wild uh, one. But it's also crazy the series of events that like trying to recover that pension mm-hmm. set him to like he yeah. was just trying to help out a guy because remember oh. he was like doing mm-hmm. a little lift in an Uber yeah. and then it led into a whole uh, drug <laughs> smuggling. That's my thing, thing too. So I maybe ain't walking out with just enough for this man's pension. Oh, I ain't putting this. Oh, I ain't putting this word. Blair, we taking a wall down yeah. like the whole side. I'm leaving with a van. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm leaving with a van, a van full of money. Ain't yeah. no, ain't no. Oh yeah, it's just three thousand and some, some dollars for such mm-hmm. and such. Stuff. No, he gonna get his money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get him his. And then I'm about to retire. Mm-hmm. You know but again, that touches on what Blair's saying about principles. Mm-hmm. He don't do that. He's like, I'm getting a three thousand sixty six mm-hmm. something, hundred and forty something. Like, you know. Man, uh, uh, I couldn't have hit it though. I, I mean, don't get me. My, you know, I mean, my principles is there a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. But also, again, yeah. we're I'm saying money. things without even realizing that this is again adding to the storyline. Yeah. So, like, I think a con for me as we transition to the con okay. would have been that the storyline was too simple. But as like mm-hmm. we're unpacking it and talking about our favorite I scenes, agree. like I think there was like enough to it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't uh, Inception. Yeah. 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 I really felt like yeah. It was like, it wasn't. Like, yeah. I really felt like you knew everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a con. Like, it, right, knew everything that was gonna. Kinda yeah, take you knew place. he was gonna take care so of it. So kind of obvious. And it's funny that you say that because I was like gonna come on here and like that was gonna be like my thing. Like it was, yeah. it wasn't mid, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but it was mid, like yeah. just a tad. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But it was a good film. But it had I that um film, you know? yeah. yeah the, so the, the so so the only reason that there there's this con that I'm getting ready to say that you guys will agree with, right? Is just like could you imagine if there wasn't so much fluff. Uh, middle or beginning middle, right? And we got to the action a little bit sooner, right? You saw what was his injury, his rehab, him going back to regular life, living the regular life, and he was living the regular life a little too long, but you could see where he was starting to forget what he actually came here for, right? And then some more things transpired, and then when those things transpired, then you know, it happened, right? Because you can see why, just bear with me here, you could see why it's almost like this didn't become a movie, right? So in his mind, he got hurt. He passed on the information to the CIA, right? And so now he's basically waiting on the CIA to do their job, right? And he is recovering living his life and he's just kind of enjoying his life but us as the audience we don't necessarily realize what the regular life he's living and all of these bad guys that are around him actually tie in to what the CIA is actually here for right and he doesn't necessarily know that either right so it's almost like as as if this doesn't even become a film right because you're kind of just watching him chill right but because we're watching him sort of chill it um, takes a little too long to get to the action, yeah. right? But you got to remember, like wasted time. right? But you got to remember that when he's living his life, he doesn't actually realize that the people that he's going to fight here actually are connected to the other, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so, so that's the reason why we're kind of watching him kind of go through all yeah. of that, right? And, and like not want to get involved. Yes, yes. But my thing is, is just that because there ended up being so many scenes in there, right, where it's kind of like, we got it. He was hurt. Okay, we got it. He recovered a little bit. Okay, we got it. You know, he's good. He's chilling. But like, come on, come on. We we, we got a movie that we got a movie to resurrect. Like, let's go. Let's go. Pick it up. 
So that was just my biggest con. But outside of that, though, like it was very enjoyable. Yeah. Um, it's, it's almost it's hard. Like, again, these cons would be like super nitpicky. But mm-hmm. like for me, Definitely. it wasn't a whole lot of cons. Mm-hmm. Like, if any. Uh, I would just say, like, sometimes this could be a little bit routine. Mm-hmm. People would think, like, okay, like, we get it. He's going to win. Like, the mm-hmm. good guy always wins, you mm-hmm. know? Uh, but what do we say to those people that that's their con? I think that's, like, kind of what makes this trilogy, you know. But what's dope is it's um, the is going to make it, yeah. though. Like, we didn't expect that, that kid to bust out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But see, enough, like, it still pieces. kept It still kept you at that cliffhanger yeah. where, like, he's dipping down that hill. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? Um, the good guys usually do always win, right? And so you understand that going into a movie. And when a good guy doesn't win, you are pleasantly surprised from time to time. But this isn't one of those, this isn't, yes, but this isn't one of those ones, right? Because we're sitting here watching a blockbuster trilogy, right? So you know that the good guy's going to win. It's just how is he going to, you know, how is he going to go about winning this one, right? That's what we're trying to really find out. Um, and you know that it's going to be a challenge because we're sitting here watching a 68-year-old man try to uh, take out guys that are in their 20s and 30s, right? So you already know that that's enough of a challenge as a so You already know that he's just gone through rehabilitation after being shot in the back, right? So it's like that whole just for him to even defeat anybody at the end of the film is a miracle, yeah. right? To be shot at 68 years old and you already had a limp prior to being shot at 68, you know? Yeah. And I like how his rehab wasn't, like, unrealistic. Like, oh, he wasn't yeah. Running. He was, like, walking up the steps. Yeah, yeah. That, that... The rehab was, like, a fast-paced walk up the steps. Yeah, <laughs> that, that meant he did it. Yeah, he's like, whoo, all right, I'm able to get up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, they better not have this Rocky Balboa moment. But yeah. He was the cane? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the cane. But his was just mm-hmm. a, good little, a good little walk nope. up the stairs. You know, he got it. He's good yeah. to go. Yeah. That was funny. Um, but anything else on the cons? Like, it's not a ton of cons for me. No, it's not. No, Mm-mm. no, it was, that that really was That's the it. um like, I guess the like, central issue. It was yeah, just the um. Say it's like redundant and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But to us, I mean, just that lag. Um, another pro though. Yes. Is I like how what was I saying? How basically um the family. Uh, you know the uh, the, the family. Italian family? The, yeah. I like how they were so, like, into, like, the things that they needed to do for for the king. Like, them marching all down to, uh, you know, mm-hmm. the fireworks came up. Mm-hmm. How, they, that, how they're Their in tune with that. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that church situation. Even though they're, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's corrupt. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's messed up, but they're just trying to... to yeah, because mm-hmm. what did we say the right? when, uh, when homie was getting jumped and then didn't want to charge Denzel the next day? I was like... Look like you need some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking about something. Because it wouldn't have been me. Oh, oh I don't yeah. pay you. I was like, get the money. You just mm-hmm. got you, you just got beat. Like, mm-hmm. then, then, then they come in and burn your shit down. <laughs> yeah. and mm-hmm. tell me, like, you should have took that money, bro. But, but yeah, yeah, I mean, again, they, they were all people of principle. Like, mm-hmm. they were all like, we're for our community. We're for each other. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, they just got taken advantage of. Yeah. You know? Definitely. But, yeah, I don't think there's too many cold moments where they're hanging out old people out of windows. Like, you're another, not really another good scene was stuff. them winning a the soccer game. Yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that team, but yeah, shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that team. Do y'all think? <laughs> uh, but anything else before we get into some ratings? Mm-mm. All right, well, let's get into the ratings. Let's do Rotten Tomatoes first because this was actually kind of interesting. It was 75%, so that's not bad, but mm-hmm. a 94% audience score. Mm-hmm. So the people loved it. The critics, not as much. And probably the critics are thinking what we were saying. Like, mm-hmm. okay, we've seen this story already. Mm-hmm. You know? But the audience it's taken too it, long. I feel like for yeah. also what we said, yeah. it's the action. It's like the essence of it all, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then IMDb, the peeps, the peeps, the people, 7.1. Okay. And I feel like that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Anytime you can get in the sevens on IMDb, mm-hmm. like, you're doing pretty well. Yeah. But we got to get into the plate rate, the only rating that matters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Blair, one to five <laughs> on entertainment. Um, this is the harshest critic, so go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to say... Ooh, I'll go three and a half. Three and a half? All right. Blair's, what you got? Damn. Well, if it went five being the highest mm-hmm. one... Mm-hmm. I just think of five being legendary, like the greatest movie you could Look, ever don't see. Don't let him alter your rating, okay. but yeah, yeah, you do do that. Yeah, you yeah. be like greatest film I've ever seen in my I, entire I life. Agree, I mm-hmm. agree. with you. Uh, you coming out, but uh, I'm gonna 
gonna give it like a four. I'm gonna give it like a four because, yeah. I mean, we did know mm-hmm. what was gonna conspire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna just give it a four, and yeah. and but it still kept me locked in. Yep. I still was like in that thing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, what I mean, I still had a lot to say because I've been talking mm-hmm. to him and you a little bit, you know, and I don't want to go with me. <laughs> but, uh, he is one of those. So mm-hmm. don't stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna let you know. Him, him know. and that. Yeah. <laughs> him and dad. Shouts out to us. I feel like the last couple ones we've seen together though have been like discussion worthy. What was that wild one we saw? It was crazy. Like not once upon a time in Hollywood. We keep doing this. We keep making this mistake. Like every time I forget it was the three name. hours. Yeah. The three hours. It was, uh, what was it called, bro? Oh. And we saw basically the whole history yeah, of film. Yeah, we did. We did. I know. I'm, all I'm, film. I know I'm, yeah, I'm, it was I'm the whole history w. about film. <laughs> we saw from Silent Era to, to New Age, yeah. from to Avatar, basically. Something with a yeah. beat. Man, yeah. what was that movie called? Uh, Damien Chazelle is the we director. We talking about it. It, yes. was, uh, it was stupid, though. Yeah, Damien Chazelle I, was the I director. Liked that. I, mm-hmm. I really did like that movie a lot. But yeah. it was wild it was, with Margot Robbie. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah Babylon. Out, yeah, it was Babylon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shouts out to Margot Robbie. Saw, you know what I mean? Yeah. Man, but look, it's, it's funny when you when you watch the movie, right, and Sydney's in there, she'd be like, shh. You loud, like, hey, look, we got to hey, discuss, yo, yeah, like, you know, we got to discuss. But Babylon was the one where we were watching where we were like, what are we looking at? Yeah. Like, it was one of those. And then remember we saw Midsommar together? Yeah. <laughs> that was another one where we were like. <laughs> I started yawning during Babylon. I'm like. <laughs> Babylon was long, though. But there were, so I'm just saying, like, we have gone to movies where it's like, yeah. you need to, like, lean on a phone a friend and be like, mm-hmm. what, what the heck are we looking at, you know? And those were, like, one of them. So yeah. I do give you guys a pass on that one. But back to the rating, uh, I got it as a four as well. I'm okay. agreeing with Eric. It's it's pretty solid. From like minute two, one, I'm lo- you're locked in. Like yeah. that yeah. whole first opening scene was crazy. Like, and then just what it sets up, yeah, it's yeah. a four. Yeah. Uh, one to five originality. This is where it might where it get a little dicey for the film. Mm-hmm. What, what are we doing? A little dicey, dicey. Yeah, a little bit. Five for originality. It gets into yeah. Uh, so five being super original, one being not original. Go ahead, Blair. All right, I'll go. Um, I'll say three, just kind of like middle of the way. Middle of the way. Okay. Or just above middle of the way. Just because the hang on, just because the execution wasn't really bad, right? Like right. just because you've seen it before, I'm not gonna go too crazy, right? If I've seen it before and you didn't execute, then that's a different story, right? Antoine Fuqua will be doing his thing though. Yeah. I mean, this is his genre. He's got it locked up. I mean, I can't say your name off many things. Mm-hmm. Other things. Mm-hmm. I see his name a lot. Yeah, a lot of especially because like it. it's a it's a unique name. That's why you really yeah. recognize it when it pops up. It's a lot of action. I think he's done a Fast and the Furious though. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't even want to. I don't even want to uh, quote you on that. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> said, <laughs> "Just <laughs> fall, fall in." Like, be right? like, no, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> but he might. You know what I mean? He might. Let's see. He's done a gang of movies. Southpaw. Oh yeah. They said that was I'm not watching nothing with some flames. We've yeah. already said. Mm-hmm. This Sydney has time. said this many times on this channel. Um, it'll never get my support. Maybe not, guys. Don't quote me. That's Kobe. why you don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Eric, one to five originality. What's that? See, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we talking about roots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Two. Um, I'm giving it a two, two? because we've already seen it. Okay. We've already it's a it's a trilogy. Yeah. Like you mm-hmm. quoted. So it's kinda like we know what to expect. Mm-hmm. We know what's about to But what's up. fair to like trilogies though? Like his rating the Godfather. Is yeah, but so on originality though, what are you giving Godfather like part two? A five. Oh, because they I didn't see Godfather. Because of how because so of how I well they did. Because of how well executed it was. Okay. And because so that's at a that's at a Story yeah, line, yeah. Like, well, because come on, because it because if you're watching, if you're watching Equalizer two, right, like and that doesn't, one, yeah, that, right? yeah, yeah, throw that, in, throw that in the can, we right? Can. But if you're if you're watching Equalizer two, yeah. and it's executed to the level that we're talking about, it's winning best screenplay. We're talking about it's winning best director, best actor, 
best sound, best right. Like it's 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 getting that recognition. We're talking about critics are watching it and they're like, man, like this is one of the thousand movies you need to watch before you leave this earth, right? Like then it's a five. It doesn't matter how many times you've seen the story, right? You will watch it time and time again if the execution is on point. Right. So the Godfather one, two and three. Right. You sit here and say, well, man, it's the third one. It's the same story. Mm hmm. Yep. Still a five. Right. Like, it's just that good. Yeah. It's oh man. It's on point. Um, OK, so for originality, I'm going to go I'm going to go three as well. I'm going to go middle of the road. Um, just because, again, I think that there was more to this movie than like. It's coming back to me as we discuss it more. Well, I left thinking like, eh, it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. But as we talked it out, talked about scenes and stuff like that, I did kind of give it a little bit more respect. Yeah, yeah. see what you got, what you got, because here, because here's what you got to think about, right? You watch a lot of movies, and the ones that become tough to unpack are usually detective films, right? Yeah. Because you know the the villain is so smart, right? The detectives are so smart, right? They they have so many flaws and things like that. So when you begun when you begin to unravel those things, right? It seems so deep, right? You watch a drama and a relationship between two people, right? Those become tough to unpack because there's so many things that they don't want to talk about. There's so many things that they both have been through together where they like reminisce, right? But when you have just like a simple character that's barely making conversation and things like that, right? Like a John Wick, like a equalizer right you're just like well dang it's just really so straightforward he really wants to kill the bad guys but then that's when you really got to then put your glasses on and get out your magnifying glass and really pay attention with a fine tooth comb and you'll kind of realize that there's more to it than meets the eye no i agree with you i agree with you um so just to recap i had it at a seven out of ten mm -hmm. blair six and a half mm -hmm. and then ledge you had four and three seven no, he had four and two, so he's four a six. six. So he's actually worse six than me. Half, six and mm -hmm. seven. But that's still pretty high ratings. I mean, that's, that's still a definite a go check it. thumbs up. Go see yeah. the movie. Yeah, see uh, once we get into the fives and fours, that's when we'll start watching. It's in the... Like, um, we'll, we'll tell you straight up, actually. No, this sorry. is... What, what what show is it? It's um, um when they go like this and then they don't know. I don't know that show. The, yeah. uh, is that um, like a dance show or something? Nah, like it's... um the um. Singing Nah, I forget it. The one with the little midget in it. Dang, what's his name? The one that Game he... Game of Thrones? There we go. Oh, they be doing that? I think it was in Game of Thrones. I was just guessing because you said uh, midget. Yeah, because that's the... Is yeah. that politically correct? I don't know. Sorry, don't cancel me. It but, is. Uh, okay. He's short. <laughs> dwarf. A dwarf. Is it yeah. dwarf? It might be dwarf. Yeah. yeah. Is that four feet uh, under? Yeah. But yeah, no, I've never seen the episode. Are they considered four feet and under? I'm going to say... <laughs> yeah, like four, four, seven, I think. Four, yeah, seven, and under. Four feet and under. Y'all do y'all thing. I just said four, four, seven. Seven. four, seven. But anyway, so that's why I say like this, because it's kind of like it's on the fence, but actually it's a give it a thumbs up. Agreed, 100%. Go check it. Uh, you got to go see this one. It's good. It's a wild ride. I mean, you have to go peek at Denzel. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he did his Denzel? thing. Like, he did his thing. Now. You know Denzel, one of the greatest to ever do it. Thanks. Yeah. So check it out. Uh, anything else on the movie front we're looking forward to? I know we talked about money a little bit. Uh, yeah, I got a couple things I'm excited for. Can't think of the titles right now, but there's a couple that I'm excited for that's coming out. Dumb um, money for sure, because I was like literally so mad that nobody told me about the GameStop stock. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that people was actually getting rich off that. I, I like, didn't know until. Like, let me know. And people were like, yo, I just made like 100000 on a. We got a. We got a. Hey, if you know a stock out, look, man, if you know a scam. <laughs> But y'all remember when uh, crypto and Bitcoin first really popped off, mm -hmm. like the very beginning? Mm -hmm. I actually do know someone, a friend of a friend, who was like one of the few that like became a millionaire. Maybe. Yeah, like, same. And he went to same. Mexico and like he just lives for a living now. Mm -hmm. Lives. He same. Lives. And he was at my friend's wedding. He was like, yeah, he was like one of the few like seven people that really <laughs> got rich. It's more than Bitcoin. seven, like, but yeah. Yeah, but no, but you know, mm -hmm. it's rare. Like people are investing in Bitcoin and stuff, mm -hmm. but like the people that actually made a million he was one of them and he's just like chilling shout out to them people. i was like so y'all didn't want to slide like that hit cool. that ppp loan and that edd too <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shout out to you but anyway dumb money is definitely one we want to dumb see. money Stop. like an Ast ensemble cast Go asteroid ahead. city asteroid city yeah but that one came out already i'm yeah, pretty sure i just didn't watch uh, it paul thomas sanderson right? uh, yeah he be killing i gotta peep that uh, so. i gotta peep so oh he is yeah 
That's her husband. Dang. Yeah, they got him some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I was saying I got to peep Saw. Saw, yeah. Me, me and Ledge got to go get our horror flick on. Yeah, yeah. can't Saw, uh, Saw. Yeah, can't Saw, Saw. Uh, we got to go get, and we got to see none, none too. Uh, I, I want to see none, but I just feel like it's, I mean, I want to see it because it's yeah. a horror. I want to see it, but I feel like I'm just going to sit there. I don't feel like I'm yeah. going to, like, jump. I don't feel like I'm gonna be like, ooh. What's man. the other one with the the two girls that's coming out? What was uh, the one with the, the horror? When does the Taylor Swift uh come out? I'm I trying to peep that. I'm trying to see Taylor Swift. I didn't even need to look over her. Like, are you I just definitely was trying to see that. Trying to be funny. Wait, we ain't going to go see Swift. Yeah. We ain't gonna go. We going to go What's see her? Swift, right? I couldn't pay. I couldn't pay for the errors tour because it was five hundred dollars. Oh, you really was trying to go, huh? I would have went a hundred percent. I'd have been there. What's Swizzy in the family? house. What's her huh? fan base called? The Swifters? Swifties. Swifties. The Swifties. Oh. That was you said truthers? What'd you say? <laughs> what? I don't want to say. He, don't, he don't like T-Swift, I see. I guess not. Swift got that heat. To me, it's like a little bit of a down year <laughs> with the movies right now. Haunting in Venice, something, it's interesting. Yeah, I'm just, that's what I want to go see. Haunting in Venice. I want to peep I'll that. check that one out. Um, Speaking of dumb money. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, not not a lot. But yeah, d- dumb money is a good one that we got for sure. Anything else, Blair? Mm-mm, I can't think of it. Uh, when it, I was trying to look for it right now, but I can't find it. But there's another one that's coming out. When it does, obviously we'll review it and talk about it. But did you ever check out Ga- Gran Turismo? Yeah, sure did. That's the one right. I snuck the pizza box in <laughs> on my birthday. Doing the most. Hey, yo, mm-hmm. shout out to Vinny, man. Sneaking I had I box, straight up. I had a large. Uh, I had a large box. Uh, sausage pepperoni pizza coming in like with this and I just threw the blanket over it right and I'm walking up to, to the uh to the guy to show him my phone to scan the ticket and he's like what's what's in the box my god I'm like man what are you talking about it's just a blanket he's like what's in the box I was like nothing and then the cop's right there too and he's like yeah is there something in there he's like you got a baby in there I was like it's just the box he's like, mm, okay but you know you came in Real conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you mean? Like it's like to, I would have to put the uh, pizza in like you know a couple little Ziploc baggies. Yeah, mm-hmm. just toss the bag. No, but I, but I but I was no, but I was out of town. I didn't have those options, right? Like I was in I was in a, a little zip, zip or I was in Pismo Beach, right, or Pismo ish area, right? So um, it's just like you went and bought the pizza what and then San Diego. No, it's like up the coast. Okay, my bad. Uh, what I didn't no. even <laughs> West. <laughs> Hit me with the map quest. <laughs> uh, oh, man, so nah, so obviously then, you know, I just, whatever, just snuck it in. Um, hey, it got in there. Smacking that pizza and then, um, and then. You need a good smack, though. Yeah. I mean, we've said that See, but you know what's funny is like everyone will act ashamed when I bring it in, but then be quick to reach over there and grab a slice when oh, it's I'm time not, to eat. Oh, oh I'm not going to ashamed. You know me. Mm-hmm. I'm blowing it down at the Dodger game. <laughs> you remember that? Yes, I do. Yeah, you feel me? So I'm not ashamed. No, I'm just surprised that he did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm proud of him. You know what I mean? Keep doing your thing. Keep the pizza <laughs> in, bro. Whatever food that you need. Mm-hmm. But it was a uh, San Luis Obispo. Okay, okay. So. Uh, anything else on that? On that front, mm-hmm. movie front? No. We'll get into some more sneakers, obviously. Uh, Ledge got a few things to show the people. Mm-hmm. He got an unboxing, don't he? You got an unboxing oh, coming soon. I do got an unboxing at the front. Yeah. So we'll get into that. We'll get into some more sneaker topics. Uh, obviously, some Slate Lay Sports. You know, mm-hmm. uh, sports. They didn't even medal, so we got to talk so about that. So disappointing. Yeah, we got to talk about You talking about women when we didn't win? Women's soccer? And that, too. We haven't touched on it. We haven't even talked so about it. So disappointing. But they also got bounced. Uh, but it looks like no allows was right. Huh? Mm-hmm. We didn't talk about of that. What? <laughs> of what? Of what? Uh, but anyways, guys, a lot more exciting episodes to come, guys. Keep it locked here. It is the Slate List Gang. Yeah. Yeah.